Hey guys, Shaver 1000 here. Beautiful day out. Check this out. Not a cloud in the sky. Okay, one cloud, but it's not a rain cloud. So, I was gonna, you know, maybe build a fire, sit back, have a cold beer this afternoon. Beautiful, not too hot. Fate, being the wonderful friend that fate is, had other plans for me. Stay tuned, I'll show you what they are. Okay guys, first of all, check this out. This is working good. This is working like it's supposed to. See that? So, that's working great. However, if you look down here, still wet. So, what could that be, you might ask? Or you might not give a shit, but I do. I'll show you what that might be. Now, I thought that was the culprit, which it had a lot to do with, it, right? But, sorry, hit record. But, get a light turned on here. Look down in there. I had no idea that was that bad. Because I'm standing up here. You know, the only time I get anything, I just reach down and grab this. This is my hand soap. All right? It is a, by the way, it's, um, it's Amish hand soap. Now, so I got to look it up under here. First of all, look at that. Second of all, See, we got something going on there, don't we? Now, you may think that it's leaking right here. But it's not. And I can tell because, see this? It's leaking from up. Oh, shit. From up there. So, okay. So we got to find out what's going on here why it's doing that and I'm guessing that happened when them fucking idiots that came in and did the floor for her this was before we got together um, look at that I'm um, guessing when they had this pulled out and shoved it back in they didn't shove it back in right so now look at this so first let's shut this off I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to show you up under here but I'll do the best I can I gotta get the stuff here out of the way. Get all this out because see, this is like, what is that? One inch thick, three quarters of an inch thick. That's that press board. Sticking glue, press board, whatever you want to call it. Uh, once that stuff gets wet, man, it starts doing that shit. Why, why, why would you ever want to, you know, I don't know, use that stuff on a sink anyway? Alright, so I'm gonna get the. Hey, I forgot about this. We just found a treasure. A video treasure. We're going to use the tea maker. We'll do a review on that for Mr. Coffee. I forgot all about that. We got this thing. This is a blender. There's another blender back there. Uh, I don't know where the rest of it is. I, I don't know. Didn't know she had that. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing maybe a piece of this blender. Hell, I don't know. Anyway, let me get this crock pot out of here and I'll get you set up in here somehow. And we'll figure this out, okay? Okay, guys. So I think the water leak. And that thing, those are pretty simple, but the first thing I gotta do is I gotta get this fucking wood out of here. So, got my light up there. So, 
I'm just going to, I mean, I don't have to worry about trying to save it because you can see why. Um, but I got to get that out of there. And uh, so I'm just going to kind of just come back here and, and just cut it out. I mean, it don't have to be perfectly square or anything like that. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here. Oh, about right there, I guess. No measurement, no nothing. I'll drill a hole in that. So I get my jigsaw in there. Because I cannot find my circular saw. And I ain't been able to find it for like a year. <laughs> we got our jigsaw in here. Noise alert. Alright. And we're just going to cut straight back. We're going to cut this. We're just going to cut what we can out of this for now and so I can see what I'm looking at behind there looks like my saw's not very tight it was wanting to huh. that's how you tighten that right there okay now let's bring it shit that figure go you saw like that while it's still running now back in to this one I gotta get this knocked out of here let me see if I can running out at me here all right let me get you backed up so we can get this thing out of here and then we'll go on to something else never use that cheap press board stuff anywhere near water because there can always be there's always that chance there, there could be a leak you're always going to put pots and pans that ain't completely dry under there and they go use this shit well let's just make it thicker yeah good thinking genius all right let me I'll show you what we got under here. Then I got I gotta get this cleaned out, get it dried up. Oh. Then we'll fix the other stuff. I'm not gonna put a piece of wood in there. Number one, I don't have one. Number two, what's the damn point, right? So here's what we're looking at. Let me get this light turned on. Jesus. That's stupid. Yeah. Definitely once I... Because if you look back in here... <coughs> that's soaking wet. So I'm definitely going to have to... Uh, replace this... That back wall before we put the new sink and... Uh, cupboards in. 
in the meantime I got to spray a lot of bleach down there I don't I looked at it real close I don't think it's black mold uh, but I'm still gonna spray some bleach down there I gotta get all this stuff cleaned up guys and I'll be back with you in just a second okay so I've got I've got it somewhat cleaned out down in here now this is what we're looking at but what I want to do oh, shit. I want to find out why that's leaking so I'm gonna turn this on and I can see it running down here and it's running down fast see it it's running right right down to that and I know that's where it's coming from because if I put my hand around here it almost see it's coming around, I don't know if you can see that's coming around my hand right there so it's coming from right up in there so I'm gonna have to try to take that off and shut this off all right wipe this down so I'm gonna have to take this line off find out what the issue is and then we're gonna go from there something might be split now they make a wrench for this it's called a basin wrench I don't have one and it was tight so we need to find out I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off down here at the bottom too Okay, I'll show you that. I'm just using a crescent wrench. I do have pipe wrenches in there, but this is small enough to get up in there because I don't have Oops, sorry, the basin wrench. Uh, it stinks down here because I sprayed a bunch of bleach it's down in here. So, alright, now let's. Uh oh. Sorry, guys, but the light has just went out on me. I think the battery's going dead. Alright, so this is what. Get you. This is what it looks like here. Shit, if I can get you. Hang on, let me get you out of here. That's the end that hooks up there into the top. And it looks like. Can you guys see that? Looks like rust, but it's not right there. Right there. So it's leaking down this side. So I don't know if it's cracked up in there or the nut doesn't look like it's cracked. Sometimes these nuts will crack and uh, that'll cause it. But I'm going to get some real fine sandpaper or uh, see if I can find an SOS pad, Brillo pad or something. And I'm going to clean this off real good and let's see what we got from there. Well, first let me show you this. I've got this cleaned off. Real pretty. Nice and clean. Damn it. So, I don't think this pipe is the issue. I think the issue's up in here. Uh, where you at? I think that's the issue. I think the issue's right up in there. Now I don't know if I can, what I've done a few times here, I'll show you what I've done before when they've leaked like this. Uh, back here. Is I can make it seat sometimes. Sometimes you can make it seat. You can put it up in here like you're going to put it on. get it kind of tight by hand and you can turn this just like that 
back and forth. All right. And I'm going to hook it up down here at the bottom. So we know where we need to be. Ow. Fuck. So... Always make sure you can start these by hand. If you can't, they're probably crooked. You don't want to strip them out. Uh, now the wall. I mentioned the wall inside there. I know it's been wet. Okay, now the issue damn it. That's going to be that's going to pose another issue. Not just because of the the drywall, that's not a problem, hanging up a piece of drywall. The issue is, this is an outside wall, so I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it's insulated. And judging from the attic, it's that blown-in stuff, which is a pain in the ass to clean out. And once you do clean it out, you can't, you can't just uh, throw more roll insulation up in there and be done with it. I'm going to have to leave that wall open for at least a week with some fans on it to uh, to keep it from or to get it to dry out before I even put insulation back up in there. Okay? So and how far up is it? And then i got to find out how far up it is to uh To know how far to go okay and then once I get to where I know about how far it is wet then I want to or was wet whatever and I want to go six or eight inches higher than that just to be sure now I want because you know I want the uh, I want the studs to dry out too okay let's turn this on yeah, oh shit you wouldn't see what I was doing I'm sorry Let's turn this on. See if we got a leak. Yeah, see it's still leaking there. And I got monkey messaging me. See the leak? It's still leaking. Alright, so I'm gonna need a new faucet or at least take this one out and find out what's going on. Which I think that may be my best bet. Well, I don't know. Might have just stopped. I think it just stopped, but I don't know if I want to trust that. Okay, let me let me check my messages. Cause I, I'm sure that was Monkey, and uh, she'll get worried if I don't get a hold of her right away. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just took his back off again because I didn't hit record, so I'm going to show you. What I did, it's got these washers in here, okay, and see it's got a, like a wedge shape to it, let me wipe this off, and what that does, is it goes on to this pipe up here, of course, after your, after your jam nut, and that goes, that'll go like that, and that goes around that nut, now, as this puts pressure on this, this squeezes, Okay, and when it squeezes, it squeezes around that pipe there, and that's what holds it tight. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to put that on. Now, I'm going to push this all the way up on here. As far as I can get it. And I'm going to tighten it. Okay, I do the same thing this other side here. Alright. I'm going to tighten this side over here first. Uh, 
Now you're not supposed to need tools on these, so... <laughs> I'm gonna tighten this up. <sighs> like that. Now, let's check the drain. And make sure it's not leaky. Make sure it's not going to slide off of there. Again. Okay, it looks pretty good. Uh, the other pipe, I gave it another little tighten just to be sure. And uh, it seems to be holding up pretty good. Alright. But we definitely need a new faucet, a new spigot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that one there's a Kohler, which is a good one. They just get worn out. And I'll show you another thing like right here on the hot water side. Look. Down right there. It's loose. And if you look right here. That's leaking. It's leaking around there. So I'm going to take this all apart. And I'm going to clean it and see if I can get that any better. And then I'll be back with you again. Okay, so I pulled this off and I found the leak for that. You see that? Got a crack right there. It's calling me. Hang on. Hello? Huh. That's funny, I don't have a credit card. Okay, so anyway, that's uh like a little gasket. That way you can turn this, okay? There's another one down here on the bottom. And it looks pretty good, but this one here is cracked. So we, we just need a new faucet. And uh one of them things you know so get this back on here I mean I don't know how old this is I, I'm guessing it's probably probably the original faucet for this house yeah see the water there there So let's take let's take this off. Let's see if there's anything we can do with this. Man, I thought I bought a faucet one time at a thrift store or something like that, but apparently I didn't. Yeah, see that there's I'm not even gonna mess with that because I know what that is. There's a washer down in there. And I'm pretty sure I don't have one, so I'm not even I'm not even gonna mess with that. As long as it's draining down into the sink and not back behind there, which it is. So you can see that. See it running down there. Uh, I don't know. I may put a new faucet in there. I don't know. Um, I'll just have to see what we got going on. Alright guys, so there's that. Everything's fixed. There's all my junk I gotta clean up. Um, that's somewhat clean down under there now. So, I'm gonna give it a final check. And, oh by the way guys, this, these, this is just how they come off. Yeah, they just slide on there and then you got your it's a just a Phillips head uh, screw and you take your wrench tighten your screw up and you put your cap back on just like that see it's a Kohler just uh it's just an old Kohler and it's it's just no good no more I mean you know things wear out people don't understand that well I just put that in there back in 1927 you know 
whatever. I, I knew an old guy like that. You know, something had happened to his lawnmower. <laughs> He's like, well, I just bought that new back in 56. I'm like, dude, it's 96, you know. I mean, and he was serious. They just don't make things like they used to. Okay, so everything looks good there. But, again, I'm going to give it a once-over and make sure. And uh, everything's good here and there. So, everything looks, there's no leaks. So, I'm going to keep an eye on it, though. Uh, and just make sure, like I said, that wall, though, that, you know, like, look at this press board and stuff. I mean, why would you... Why would anybody, cabinet makers, really, come on, make stuff out of this, knowing damn well, there's, eventually, there's going to be a water leak, somebody's going to spill something, whatever the case may be. You put pots and pans down there that ain't clear dry, and we all know what that stuff does, it just bubbles up. I mean, why would you, you know, and this shit is expensive, man. This was expensive when this house was new, back in 1994 or 96 or whenever it was, so, you know, it's just... Just one of them things. At least it's still working good. I had it shut off so I could film for you guys. I'm turning it on now because it's hot. Okay, so guys, I want to say thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you learned something. Damn it. Delay. Hopefully you learned something. And hopefully I taught you something. And uh, forget what I was going to say. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear the Myth. The man of legend, I'm going to clean up and uh, call it a day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.